Okay, let's pick up and just work on a little bit of this one. I'm going to show you an example of how to analyze this, and then I'm just going to pretty much leave the rest to you to work your way through. Um, one of the things that I notice here in this problem, they're asking us for voltmeter readings, and notice where the voltmeter is sitting here. So the voltmeter is right here. And that means that the resistor that we're really interested in, it's measuring the drop over that resistor there. Um, resistors are identical again in this problem. Let's call them resistance R. Let's say this battery has some EMF E. So one thing I know here is that whenever switch two is closed, so here's switch two, whenever switch two is closed, um, that it forces zero potential difference over the resistor that we're studying. So my voltmeter is gonna measure zero every time switch two is closed. So I can go through and find those cases where switch two is closed. And right away, I can know that those cases are gonna be zero. So my voltmeter reading for those cases is gonna be zero. And I'm done with half the cases. So it's really just the other four cases that I'm looking at here. Um, the first case is pretty simple. This case of uh, all the switches are open because I just have my four resistors in series. So what I'm gonna measure over that voltmeter uh, for that case there will just then be E over four, just one fourth of the battery because we're four resistors in series and each of them is gonna drop a quarter of the way. So um, the case I want to pause on here is case B. In case B, we have uh, switches one and two open and switch three is now closed. So now we have switch three closed and that makes our circuit a little bit more complex. Switch one is open, so this resistor, the resistor in series with switch one has no, is not dissipating there. Uh, switch two remains open as well. So in order to do this, um, what I again, what I want us to try to calculate is what would the voltmeter actually measure here? Let's calculate those and then you can rank from there. Um, so in the, this case here, there are different ways to look at this, but I wanna take you through kind of a potential focused way. So I'm gonna just start by highlighting. And then after this, I'll let you do the rest of the non-zero cases this way. I'll start here using the positive here, going for the positive side of my battery, and then I'll highlight a negative side of the battery, just goes to here. Then I need some other colors. I'll use green in here and through that resistor. Switch three is closed, right? So I've got purple there, and then I just need one more color. Use this yellow in here. Okay, so notice that what this voltmeter in question is measuring is from yellow to red here, right? Or pink, whatever that color is. That's the drop that we're interested in, is the drop over that resistor. And remember that we're calling all the resistors resistance R there. So that's what we want to figure out. Um, for this explanation, I'll just help us out a little bit and label all these resistors R. So one thing that would that's helpful for me here is if I can take this group of resistors over here and simplify them down, right? That little network get there and simplify them down. The resistors that are, we have two resistors in series with the battery, so that simplifies to two R, that's not hard. Um, but these here, let's go ahead and simplify those then. Then I'll have 1 over 2R plus 1 over R, and all of that to the negative 1. And that is going to give me 1 over 2R, 2 over 2R is 3 over 2R, or 2R over 3. So I have 2 thirds R for that little network. So if I'm going to, I'm just going to draw a little sketch down here real quick. And that'll be of this, of a simplified circuit here. So here's my battery. Um, I have these two resistors that are up here in series. I'll leave those two in place. And then I have this replacement one that I just figured out, right? This equivalent R, which is two thirds R 
and here's my battery E. So now if I'm going to go through and think about what the different drops are here, um, I'm interested in, let's say the drop over resistor R, let's call that just like a V prime or something. This is going to be V prime. And that means the drop over this network down here is going to be two thirds V prime. Okay. So that means the drop over this, what I've circled in red up here is two thirds V prime. Notice that this, let me use a different color here. This little piece in here is just going to be half of that two thirds though, right? So let's look at that there. So this is two thirds V prime is the drop over that whole network that we just figured out. These two resistors are equal to each other. So the drop here is actually just going to be half of that two thirds V prime. So half of the two thirds V prime there. So that's just going to give me one third V prime. Great. But now we've got to figure out what V prime is. So in order to do that, I can go around my whole circle here. I can make a loop. And I see that I have two V prime plus two thirds V prime is equal to E. And I'm just making a loop there and summing all my gains and losses, all my ups and downs there. So two thirds, uh, that's six thirds plus two thirds. So eight thirds V prime is equal to E. In other words, V prime is equal to three eighths E. And I know that the drop over the resistor in question is one third V prime. So again, I'm looking at case B, the notation I'll use is V sub B is going to be one third V prime. So that gives me E over eight for that case. So I'll write that in. This is going to be E over Eight. And I'm going to leave the other parts of this one for you to do. I think this is a great exercise and make sure that you come up with the same ranking uh, that I'll post in the answer key there. Questions on that, um, post those to the discussion or just get in touch with me on that. This, is, this problem is worth spending time on. This last one here, um, I think this one's actually a little easier. In this particular problem, we're asked to look at ammeter readings. And um, notice that the ammeter is wired right in series with our battery here. So that's um, what we're really focusing on here is battery current. And we can remember that our battery current is inverse with our equivalent resistance. So by now your equivalent resistance skill should be pretty good. Um, go ahead and work through all these different combinations and um, my setup here would be calculate equivalent resistance for all those cases and then simply rank inversely to equivalent resistance.